Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's really a pleasure for me, here, for me to be here to talk in something about Chinese traditional architecture. At the very first, I would to express my thanks to a, a European Forest Institute flag area and uh, the International World Cultural Society, IWCS, for the uh, sponsor of me to be here to have the, uh, the, the talking, the speech. And as the time limited, so I only uh, uh, sharpen my uh, speech about the traditional Chinese architecture. So uh, just an outlook on Chinese Asian architecture. Generally speaking, the main uh, stream of uh, Western traditional architecture, European architecture, is stone or brick made. Uh, building structure system. And the Chinese strategy in architecture is wood frame building system. As we know, the Western architecture is like this main. But Chinese architecture is like this. Although a lot of the culture has their own wood frame buildings, but several countries like China, Japan, and Korea with their most important buildings with the wood frame. This is example. This is some simple buildings, but very important, uh, all made by wood. And uh, the ordinary uh, people's building is wood. Even the size is small, but totally made by wood. This is the interior, you see. This is a building built in uh, the year of uh, 10th century, so uh, made totally by wood. This is a big building built in uh, Tang Dynasty, but you can see only in the terrace, everything is by wood. This uh, lots of multi-story buildings also made by wood. This is one example. You can see how to build it. It is different from European uh, architect history uh, that, uh, as we know in uh, European architecture history, we have, have the Middle East, Medieval, and Renaissance. But in China, in architect history, we have no so-called Middle Ages and no so-called Renaissance period. Chinese architecture is a long, interruptible, evolved building system. From the very beginning to the end of 19th century, the essential form of the Chinese traditional buildings are hardly changed very much. But actually, the form of the ancient Chinese buildings have always changed along with the historical period. We still can roughly divide into the four, five period. A little bit different, but the structure is generally the same. The first period is Qin and Han Dynasty around maybe 220 AD before. And second period is Weijin, South North Dynasties, from the year of 221 to the year of 581. And the third period of Sui and Tang Dynasties, from the year of 581 to the year of 1960. And the fourth is Song Liang, Jin Dynasty, from the year of 10th century to 13th century. And the last, period called Yuan Ming and Qin Dynasty from the year of 13th century to the year of 19th century. We can have a quick look at the Chinese traditional architecture history. This is most early buildings like this. It's maybe as the year 15,000 BC, like this. Very simple. These very old buildings examples. This is around uh, 10, 1,000 years BC. But the, f the form is a uh, courtyard, like the old, later one. This is Qin Dynasty building. Some Han Dynasty buildings, even we have no existing buildings, we can see the form with the roof, the post, nearly the same as the later, some models. Under the 
building of uh, the year 4th century to 5th century. We have no uh, wood from the existence, but we see the sculptures, Buddhism sculptures. The detailed part is also like the wood structure. It's uh, just as a more learn from the wood from from uh, wood from structure. Also the pagoda. This pagoda is stone made in a grottoes, but actually it's, it should be a wood structure. This is a Tang Dynasty building. It's a drawing, but we can see everything is wood framed. Here's a terrace with brick and earth, but the post, the pillar, and the togong brackets, and the roofs are made by wood from wood, uh, wood structure. Here's a huge building from the drawings we can see. This is uh, the existing Tang Dynasty building built in uh, uh, 8th century. We can see the everything is made by wood frame. Another example is Liao Dynasty, the third period of uh, actor history, also made by wood. But it's a huge building with very very big one. It's uh, maybe the existing earliest multi-story building built in the 10th century, not the year of 1981, totally built with a wood structure. Another example is Song Dynasty, a little bit later, different areas, but the, the whole temple is wood framed. Here's a monastery. All this building was built in uh, the ten, uh, 11th century, uh, wood framed. Building. Another example is Song Dynasty is also built in the 11th century in different places, but totally in wood framed. Here's an example of built in uh, Song Dynasty around the 11th century, early of 11th century. It's a uh, wood framed, huge building, very big. Then we go into the later. Here's the Yuan Dynasty, around the 13th century. It's also the same. Even the style, the details changed. The Tukum changed, but the main structure is not so, so much changed. Another example of Yuan Dynasty. It's time for Mongolian rulers. So uh, the building become uh, the, the, the more detailed, decorated. But the building looks still the same construction. Here we go into the later period called Ming Dynasty, around 14th century to 15th century. Here's a tomb, the for emperor's tomb, but the pre-house is uh, wood framed. Even the tomb themselves itself is uh, stone made. Here's a, this is pre-house for Ming tomb. Another uh, pre another Ming Tung buildings. Then we go into the last period called Qin Dynasty, with the year from 1644 to 1911. Or we can see the examples, lots of buildings. Then we see, simply see we see the Chinese building can divide in three parts: the roof, the posts and walls, and the terrace. Always three parts like this, roof, post, and terrace. The same, roof, post, terrace. Even the small terrace, but still has, and the roof, and different stories. This is Song Dynasty in 9th century. Another one, 9th century. This is a Qin Dynasty Empire, the Forbidden City, with a huge terrace, and the post, and the huge roof. Then we can, See, the terrace is only made by the stone and brick here, like this terrace. But early times, with the, every corner with the animals to guide the terrace. Then the later one, the huge terrace. And with the 
if the building is a little bit higher with uh, some balustrade like this, it's also made terrace, uh, stone, sometimes with wood, so balustrade. This can be, be made by, by wood. You can from drawings, lots of terrace and balustrades and huge buildings. And on the terrace, we erect the post. And on each of the posts, there are always a base stone. Some a base stone was all, always decorated. Here is a base stone. This is mood, this is stone. And decorated the base stone. Decorated. It's very early, it's in Song Dynasty, around 11th century. 11th century, around. On the terrace is a post or pillar. Most of the posts are made of wood, but there are also some posts that are made of stone. Sometimes, for example, this may be stone. This is wood. You can, the, the, the post is very high, and space is very big. This is the interior with a wood frame. Here's the Tin Dynasty Emperor's house with a very uh, complicated decoration. And this is post. Uh, this post is stone made with a sculpture. But the inner part is wood frame, wood post. This is from Confucius because it's very high ranked. There's some special police called Dogun. Dogun is a very special part of Chinese architecture. That means the different ranks for building. The high rank with the complicated Dogun, low rank with the simple Dogun, or even no Dogun. Here's a Dogun. Or brackets. Very strange. Different Dogun. Even late, the times later, later the Dogun is smaller. Dogun. Yeah. Corner Dogun. This is the general lines about Dogun we can know. It's the beams with Dogun. Special different Doguns you can see. We can see the size of Dogun. Here's a, a gentleman, but we can see the size. Very huge. We see the Dogun, different decorated and structural function. Even the inner part, some special parts with the dogon and roof and post. Here is a special place for uh, the library. Keep the Buddhist book. Also, we have the two uh, kind of building structure with dogon. One is this one. This is a simple one with the post, with most of the post and a billion, but Dogun is smaller, very smaller. And then there is the high, highest ranked building we call the, the Dian Tang. Another is Ting Tang. Here the Dian Tang is bigger with a complicated Dogun system. With two eaves, but with one space. So it's high rise. For a building city and some other very mo most important buildings, with building like this. Also some other wood structure buildings like this, no Dogun, usually used by the ordinary people. So also some other low rent building structure system also made by do uh, wood, but no onion special decorations and Dogun, only smaller decoration. So very ordinary people used. And beam system is also very complicated. Here we can see all this, this for roof, but all made by wood and decorated with this part. Decorated. It's a small beam, different beam. This for the high place of the roof. This is Tang Dynasty for roof. Roof structure, the corner structure, is very complicated. On the structure. And the roof is very special with a very 
uh, natural curves, we call it curves, like this. Not, not very wide, but very curves, very interesting curves. Early times, the curve is very lower, but in the later times, it's become higher and higher. So, uh, you can see quickly about several examples. This is the early one of Tang Dynasty building. This is the interior part of this building for Buddha. This is the earliest uh, uh, multi-story building in Liao Dynasty. That is uh, seventh century. This it's the ninth, tenth century. This is the inner part. But even this sculpture, the stage is made by wood. Total one wood, very huge wood arts. This is another multi-story building in the uh, eleventh century. And some other examples. This may be the highest existing wood from structure in the world. With a height of 67 meters, but built in 11th century. Thank you. We will be quick. This may be the highest building built in history, with a height of 140 in the 5th century. But we can see the recovered drawings. Main part is wood, but central part is earth and stone. So uh, it is interesting, very high. Some examples quickly: Tang Dynasty building, Song Dynasty building, Liao Dynasty building, Qin Dynasty building, Yuan Dynasty building, different times, and the Ming Dynasty building, Qin Dynasty building, Ming Dynasty building, Qin Dynasty building. More later, more decorated. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.